what is what was it with the, the Philistines? I believe when they took the Ark of the Covenant from Israel, you know. But it, that like it's an example. Just came to my mind like the Philistines when they took that. They actually said, uh, if we take this from Israel, they'll be weak. You know, they they said that they would be weak without their God. Like is it the Most High just dwelt in that 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 one temple that they built him pretty much? You know, like like he dwells in that, and that's the only place he can show his powers. It's right there. The most High is up. Uh, I think that word is omnipresent. You know, he's always there. If that's the right word, I'm not sure. I think it's the right. He it means to be present in all things. You know, he's always there, man. You know. Yeah, that's but good. even the Philistines, they knew that. Yep. Once they took the Ark of the Covenant, that you know they started uh, uh, receiving plagues. Their plagues were being placed on them. Yep. They were dying, man. So they're like, you know what? It's just better. They came to the conclusion, that, you know what? They just give it back to them. Because the God of the, this people, they're it's dreadful, man. They knew. They they even knew whenever the uh, God was in the presence with the Israelites, because the Israelites were there would shout, they would rejoice, and they the, the heathen knew. Even during the time of Joshua, yep, yep. The, the 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 people of Jericho, they were uh they were scared that their their hearts would melt. The woman, the harlot, uh, I believe she was the heart, the harlot Rahab, she was a. Uh, she bear witness to the to, to the to the two or three spies yep. that went into uh, 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 look at look into that city, man. Saying that the the men of the the men the men's heart melt, meaning they get scared, they're afraid, all, all their courage and and their uh, the bullshit that they like to show in the in their in their safety and their security, it was all it was falling, man, it was melting away because those men were coming. Why? Because they heard the rumors of a guy opening up the sea, the Red Sea, to his people, man. Destroying the Egyptians, man. Like a lot of people, they, they they may not come up and tell us that they're afraid, but we know y'all are afraid. It's just like when you turn the light on into your uh your kitchen, a roach ain't gonna be like a roach runs, he, he, he flees and goes into the dark. He ain't gonna jump out and be like, hey man, I'm afraid of you. Just by seeing that action, they're afraid of the light. They're afraid to get seen, to be seen. It's just like, y'all, y'all keep driving up. Y'all you have, you have the opportunity to stop, really seek out truth. Just like in Jeremiah said, hey, go into the city of Jerusalem, the streets of Jerusalem, and seek out those that, that, that are uh, about truth and that want to play out judgment. But there's none. It's like last weekend, I was watching the videos from last Sunday, encountered that one, uh, uh, whatever he was, man, you know? He was a... Uh, uh, you know, talking about, oh, uh, y'all are about winning souls. Well, basically he was saying, you know, why, why aren't people coming up? Why aren't you got a big uh, 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 congregation, a group of people with you? The most I don't deal with great numbers, man. If, he, if, he, if a brother, if a camp has a big group, that's, that's because that, that's what the Lord gave them brothers over there in those other cities, man. But he got, he got brothers that probably don't even have a camera, they're just one man solo. But that man, you know, you know, real quick, I want to make a correction. When he, uh, he had, y'all brothers are watching the videos, he had talked about the Ishmaelites, and I said, yeah, the people that are the East Indians. That that's wrong. It's the uh, it's the people in the Middle East, like the Iraq, the the, the, the the land of Iraq, the Muslims, basically, you know. Okay, they're the uh, the the, uh, the children of uh, of Ishmael. Okay, it, uh, the the East Indians are uh, Elamites. From the father, the father Elon. Okay, you want to make that correct correction. And uh, but yeah, man, you know, the most side only deals with small numbers. Okay, and we're here to bear, bear witness to the truth and to tell and to tell y'all, man, that this place is gonna be destroyed and to, and to bring it back to your remembrance. Y'all think it? Y'all think it's uh, it's gone away? But it hasn't, man. Just like when you turn that light on in that your light in the kitchen, those roaches run. And they're, they're, they're chilling in the in the crevices of the, in the in, in, you know in the in the cracks of the walls or the you know the refrigerator whatever man. Hey, but that person that's living there that 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 that's his dwelling. He's he's he's, he's gonna get ready to uh, spray that raid on him. He's about to send that plague to the to kill that down road. That's how y'all people are, man. Y'all y'all as soon as y'all see this light come, right? And we we've witnessed it too before. Like a, a, a certain area, 
the people won't even go over there for a while, or, you know, because we're just there. You know? They're like, oh, let's avoid, don't walk that way. Let's avoid that way, don't walk that way. Because that light's right here, man. Because whatever whatever falls right in here, you're gonna be compelled whether you want to or not. Most likely gonna put it on you. So you can probably come over here and, and, and just so we can see your wickedness. For other brothers to be edified. Just so you, you can prove to yourself, the Lord's gonna prove to you that, hey, you're not right. We're gonna uh, rebuke you, correct you. You're gonna try to come with your false doctrine. Like America does, it comes with this false doctrines, and we're here to cast down all that, man. But since people ain't coming up, like everybody likes to look at that, that that's their faith, they have to see that if, they, if that's a big group, you know, if there's a, uh, they got a beautiful building, okay, then, then God must be dealing with it. But that's why we're on the camera to, to distribute this light through the circuits, man, day and night. Because there's brothers, there's men that are waking up from uh, just watching the video, the YouTube clips. And I was one of them. And many other brothers uh, woke up that way too. We're just bearing witness to this truth. You got something? In Isaiah, verse 2. Give Jeremiah chapter 3. Jeremiah 3 and 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart. Start up. Okay. Um, one, one scripture. Uh, verse 14. Turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord. For I am married unto you. And I will take you one of a city and two of a family. Who is he married to, though? He's married to the elect. That's who, that's who he's coming back for. The elect of Israel. That woman. His bride, man. What? For I am married unto you. And I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. Right. So he ain't dealing with a great number of people, man. That's why Yahweh shot bear witness to that in the parable of the road and the gate. You know? He said, enter ye in the straight gate, man. The straight gate means a hard the the, the the it's a hard it's a hard path, man. Keep reading. And I will give you passage according to my heart which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Right, he's gonna keep, Yahweh Shai is going to send out men according to his heart, who he had ordained, man. Not you people that, oh, well, I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to go to college and get a degree in uh, being a minister. When they're teaching you their they're, they're false doctrine, you're not even, the Spirit not even dealing with you in the first place. Can't even unravel, unravel the mysteries. Only the men, only the, the men that the Lord is dealing with have that ability, man. It's given, it's given to them to have that ability. But the more, like I said, the most high can send out pastors according to his heart to feed you with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And to warn you, warn you people. Ezekiel 11 and 16. Therefore say, thus of the Lord God, although I have cast them far off among the heathen, although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. And this is a little sanctuary, man. We know, us brothers know that the uh, the house, the most high dwell in the temple's made with hands, man. Like a lot, the majority of people actually believe that that's where God's at in, the, in, these, in these churches, man that are built upon stone upon stone. When the word, the word church uh, is a, uh, the, the Greek word iglesias, I believe I'm pronouncing it correctly. In Spanish is iglesia. All it means is a, a, a gathering assembly of people. A gathering of, of people, a, a shout, shouting of people to, to people to come. Not, not to be uh, in a house, not to be in a, a, in a building, man. Look at, all, all you gotta do is look at the time of Moses. You know, Moses they, they weren't in a building. They were, he was on a mountain, the Mount Sinai, you know, speaking to the people. 
Yahawashah is a perfect example. John the Baptist is, all the men of the Lord, they, they did. Go to Hebrews 11, it says that all the, all the prophets that were, uh, you know, they're in the wilderness wearing ships, sheepskin as their clothing. And, it, and uh, real quick on the whole definition of uh, church too, when it's talking about the whole congregation of people, it's referring to Israel. It'll tell you it's even referring only to Israel, not to these other yeah, nations. Yeah. It's, it's only, it's only specifically for Israel. The Bible specifically for Israel. And that is like we told that dude last weekend. From 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 the beginning to the end, who's the Bible about? Israel. You know. That's who it's about. We're trying to tell them who, who Israel is, but the, that man ain't letting us get, giving us place to talk. But, you know, that's who the, uh, the gathering of, 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 the, of souls is. But it's not every soul, it's the elect of Israel is that's gonna be gathered together. Um, is that it? Yeah, that's it now. All right, I'm gonna get uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter two. Uh, verse 9 says, Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivable, deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. And uh, real quick, man, when you when you think about the scripture, man, uh, who who is them? Who is he, when he's saying them? Who is that talking about? Because we always say like, y'all people don't believe on judgment. Like, who's gonna be short? Well, who's the wicked then? The wicked is a so-called white man, but also you two-third Negro Latinos. You two-third, and and we, I already I already like to say it a lot. You know, just personally, me, I say it a lot that you know what goes on the scriptures. How it says that. Broad and wide. Broad and wide. Many that go in. I can't remember that last part. Many that many there be that go in, go in, go in at it. You know. Many there are many of them. Oh yeah. Many, many are shall destroyed. go in there. There you go. You know. It's many hard to touch many with shall, Many shall go in there at that in that wide, broad gate in that road man, that lead to destruction. But few go into the uh, the straight gate, man. The narrow road. Only a few. But it's not no, it's not like, like the the fucking uh, what do the Mormons say? It's only 144,000 are going to make it. Nah, man. It's 144,000 and a great multitude that followed behind them. Okay. And uh, it was just like the the 12 the 12 apostles. Uh, were they the only ones that that the Lord chose? Nah, because there was. If you go to the book, it was a Luke. He sent out 70 more. That's doing the same thing that he sent the original 12 to do. He sent 70 other men to do the same thing. And there was a great multitude following him in, the, in that time too. But not everybody believed. Because it tells you in John, a lot of them, uh, uh, they went away. After he started talking about that, his, his body was as the bread. You know, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of people departed from the Lord. Just like y'all do today. The whole, well, I already, I already said it last week and the prior week before that that this place is so wicked and, and y'all didn't even know how, like, going, going real quick, y'all didn't even take into account, man, how serious this truth is, man. Like, how serious, you know, I'm talking to you two-thirds, like, how serious is the word of the Most High really is, man, because it's not something to be toyed with. It's not something to be tampered or like how y'all did in the, in the wilderness. Y'all just, we had just barely gotten out of being delivered from our enemies who may, maybe they could have, uh, had a few left trying to uh, pursue us still. But what did y'all want to do? Y'all wanted to play immediately. Like I said, y'all got up and rose and played immediately, you know? That's why the Most High, he doesn't want y'all two-thirds because y'all don't y'all don't know how to be serious, you know? And that's the whole thing. This truth is serious. And the Most High is only dealing with men, not no little kids, not no little children. I'm gonna get that scripture real quick in Revelations chapter 20, Revelation chapter 21 and three. And I heard a great voice out of the heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. Right, and, and, and oh, and real quick, the most I even tells you two-thirds, yeah, no, he tells you people, yeah, you two-thirds, that he don't like men that joke a lot. 
that, uh, because that's not a man. Scripture saying, uh, was that first or second? Yeah, first Corinthians. It says that when I was a child, I was speaking as a child, and I put them away when I when I became a man. Yeah. Exactly. You know, the most I gives you a time to, to enjoy yourself as a kid, and then you you rise up. And you have you to grow up. Man. You gotta yeah. you gotta you gotta grow up, man. Grow up and play the role you're supposed to do. No. But we know that you 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 other you two thirds that are grown ass men and women, whatever y'all act like kids still, yep. and y'all gonna be destroyed. And the Most High ain't dealing with that, man. Yep. Uh, this is a uh, Proverbs eight and one. It said, "Does not wisdom cry, and understanding put forth her voice? She standeth in the top of high places, by the way and the places of the plat of the paths." Right? What is what is a, a high place here in America, man? It's, a lot of people can't come up and, and, and say the things that they do against America, especially holding the Bible, man. And saying that America's gonna be destroyed, you, you, and, and, and condemns you white people, man. This is one of the high places, it don't matter. It, it ain't talking about being in a, a building. It's talking about being on the highways and the byways in, in, this, in, this, in this wicked place called America, condemning it, man. She cried at the gates, at the entrance of the city, at the coming in, at the doors. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. Right. Again, again. Most high, even, the scriptures even said that Most High is a man of war. And I remember me and his brother were discussing it, I think a few weeks back, when uh, we were talking about, well, I think I brought up the point, you know, like, who does the Most High give knowledge to? To the scriptures that says, uh, to the babes and sucklings, right? You know, a babe. You know, which we know it ain't no literal babe. It could be a man who's like 30 years old, but he just came into the truth. But uh, whenever he starts working with that man, what does that man become? He becomes a man. You know, uh, he builds him up. He builds him up into a man. But if the most I can do that with a with a babe, a spiritual babe, what what more with the actual real man, which the most I is when, when a man does develop to his age. That's just how serious it is. He built. If, like I'm just trying to put it out like that's how serious it is you become a man the second you come in this truth when you get that not when you're trying to increase and get that knowledge you're taking an oath to become a man to be built up into a real man and he tries you and, and, and puts you through all these tests all the way up until death you know but that's that's just the point I'm trying to make like you don't realize how important this thing is that's why real quick that's why that's why the scripture saying man you got to study to show that stuff approved to the most like you got and it even says that the prophets diligently searched daily. I remember Ezra, he would, uh, Ezra, yeah, he would, uh, he would, uh, he would preach all day. And then he'd go down the lines with the, with the multitudes of people he had and have other men expound even more and more to the ones who don't understand all day long. You know, these things were done diligently. But so it's only, it's only balanced out that the Most High is gonna make a way to where it's gonna be equally as hard to try to find the truth, to, 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 to find that one pearl, that jewel. This is 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 1. Wherefore, lay aside all malice and all guile and hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings. <clears throat> As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. Right, see? And it's about building you up in the spirit, becoming a man, knowing, what, knowing, what's, knowing how to conduct yourself wisely. The, the scriptures say that the Most High gives us good doctrine. That's, what, that's what's good. Not uh, not all these th vanity, these things are vanity. All right, the only and the scriptures that even say if you don't speak according to this word, there's no light in you. Meaning, if you don't come out of this book, there ain't no good coming out of you. But that's why that's why it even says in uh, Romans too about the, uh, the you know the Gentiles that are mine today that come in. You know, uh, he says, no, there, no, therefore the severity of the Most High. You know, this thing is serious. That's why you two thirds are going to be destroyed for because y'all take it as a joke, you know, and y'all act like y'all got it all. Y'all act like y'all already got the truth. You know, like I, I had my father-in-law a few weeks back say, I've seen it all. Man, you know what? You're going to be destroyed for that, man. That's proud, man. Yeah. What is the dumbest thing on the earth, man? Uh, this is uh, Isaiah 46 and 8. It says, remember this and show yourselves men. Bring it again to mind. Oh, ye transgressors. Yeah, bring it again. And why does it say bring it again to mind? Because the scriptures told you not to forget in the first place. Because at one point in time, you did know. In Israel, y'all did y'all didn't have the law. But y'all wanted to continue to do whatever y'all want. Be, as mischie be mischievous be people. Be little kids. Be little be wicked little, ass teenagers, yeah, man. Yep. Yeah. Man, 
You don't know how many people, man, we come across that they got that childlike mentality still.